Hey y'all, Hospitable Vox, and welcome to my recording studio. Before we get busy, I'd really appreciate it if you guys just take a second to hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to grow the channel, and every little bit helps. So I appreciate it if you could just hit that subscribe button. This is where I get my recording done. And as you can see, I have my acoustic treatment out here. I am, I record in my garage because it's much quieter than the house, surprisingly. There are lots of echoes in the house, so this is a spot where I can get work done. And while it works acoustically, it's just not cute. <laughs> so I am going to try to treat this better so I can do some video out here as well as my audio recording. With that being said, I am going to build an acoustical shelf. Keep in mind that I am the least handy person in the world, so I'm going to try to do this with as few as tools as possible. We're going to start with this metal shelf that I purchased, and first job is to get that put together. Shelf is done. How about that? No tools. I made it happen. Now I'm going to run and go put on some long sleeves and some gloves because I'm going to deal with the mineral wool. And now I'm stepping outside because I'm going to cut this mineral wool, this insulation, into pieces that will fit in between the sides of the shelf. In between <laughs> the shelves. Got to cut it to the right size. My lips aren't working, but hopefully my hands are. Yes, I have on long sleeves and gloves because I don't know what's going to be flying out this package and I don't want it to get stuck in my skin. I know it's not fiberglass, but why take chances? The first piece is cut and it fits. How about that? Let's get the rest of it done. Now, I know you didn't think I was just going to leave that insulation just in there like that. Got some cloth to cover it. So here's the plan. I have the cloth attached to the top of the shelf and I pushed the insulation in from the back. Okay, so I got all the insulation in. Now I just gotta figure out how to seal it up and close it up. Okay, here it is all tucked in from the back. And here is my DIY acoustic shelf. I gotta say it looks better than that hanging blanket. Well, it ain't perfect, y'all, but my studio's gonna get a little better every day. And that doesn't sound bad, does it? 